So many new faces these days. Things must be getting a mite easier out there. Welcome, traveler. I'm Reginald Malone, but my friends call me Reggie. You can too. Saw you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Or oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. Ooh, getting right to business. I respect that. Rest assured, old Reggie's got a cure, friend. Let's talk again soon. Well, hey, get away from my stew! Oh, it's you. What? No, of course not. Never seen you before in my life. I just figure you're you. You know? And I'm me, and that's... That's where we are. So, what can old Mudtooth do for you, huh? You came to the right place, traveler. Town, you call it. Back in my day, a place like this wouldn't be considered much more than a camp or a, 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 a bivouac, you might call it. Nah, this ain't no town. Not yet. But it is a fine place to set up Kip. <laughs> I lived by myself for years, see? Had myself a, uh, what you calls it, uh, a hockapotopter. That thing could fly to the moon and back. <laughs> it could! <laughs> Anywho, I was living by myself when my boy Brabus showed up saying we should move on. Told me it wasn't safe for me to be living like I've been living no more. He told me about this place. Got some nice people here. Took some getting used to being around folks again. Well, Brabus, he's my son. Twere his idea to come join this little shanty town. Not a bad idea it was, neither. He's over yonder, at the shooting range, if you're looking to find him. Not much of a talker, though, that one. <laughs> Guess he didn't get his old man's gift for gab, eh? <laughs> Fair enough. Take care, young'un. Don't be a stranger. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it.
That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on. We used to live in that building over there. Then a stranger came. We called them the Wanderer. You might have noticed everyone gets a handle here. Anyway, they show up and stop the route. Now we live in these buildings here. That cleared up for you? And me? I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine, go see Riggs then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. You look like you need some shooting practice. Yeah, all right. Two shots sent a mass and one to the head will stop most of your problems. Oh, 
friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right. But everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha! <laughs> yeah. That sounds like Bravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Anything you need? Hmm. I'll do what I can with what... Be safe out there. You look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Then let's not waste any more time. This way. Still smell 
feels like home. Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? Huh. The world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets hadn't found their own? <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about. It was a matter of national security, of pride. So yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I gave Helen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Worked to do what, exactly?
the Andrew Ford who first touched this crystal. Did he ever come back? Go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford. Ford? Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. did it. He actually woke it up. Oh, Clementine. Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. People, we stand together in ash and humility. We who have mastered space and time, who harness the very stars and perceive the threads of creation, now waver upon the precipice of a truth that even the wisest of us could not foresee. We find ourselves both vital and insignificant. In the huh. face of what we see, well, this looks important.
Hmm. Real pretty. Yeah, I don't trust this place. in the wastes beyond. Look for a glowing white orb held aloft to the heavens. There you will find me. We must speak. Too hard to spot.
This is it. This isn't looking good. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 